Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, I got a very special NFT to go over. Now before we get started, like always, none of the things I go through in this channel should ever be considered financial advice. Please do your own research before investing in anything, but with that being said, let's get right into it. Today's video, we're going to be talking about none other than Affin. Affin's going to reimagine the play to earn metaverse in a way we've never seen before. Now they're going to have virtual and real world coverage. So I'm going to explain what this actually means, but I just want to clarify that I am beyond excited for this project here because it's reminiscing of one of my favorite games I've ever played. And we're going to talk about that as we come along here. Now, what makes Affin unique? Well, it's a play to earn that's also free to play. So play to earn metaverse that allows players to start playing and earn without an initial fee. So this reminds me a lot of how Thetan Arena works. You're able to play and earn to an extent without actually paying for anything, but you're also able to actually purchase an NFT and be able to earn even more money through the game. This is actually an amazing way to get people onto your play to earn game because if they play it for free and they enjoy playing it, then they're going to most likely want to pay to earn more money on it playing a game that they already enjoy doing for free, right? So it's actually an amazing way to get more people on the platform and it's almost like a free trial for people to understand understand what it's like they're able to enjoy the game in the same way on both ends but one you're able to actually make a living on it and the other you don't really make as much money but you're still able to earn a bit of money on there as well so sustainable game economy so this is to ensure that the rewards remain attractive to existing and new players in the long run they've found the solution to maintain the sustainable and growing game economy here now, additionally it's a mobile geolocation base and this is what really caught my attention about this project here like they said here it's going to be geolocation based gaming which is on the rise they're becoming the pioneer of the mobile play to earn category in the blockchain space now what is a geolocation game well you guys probably know a few games like this specifically one which is pokemon go now pokemon go took the world by a storm back in around 2017 i believe because that was when my addiction was at the very highest i've never walked so much in my life i think i was doing easily five to seven kilometers on a daily basis trying to hatch my eggs and catch as many pokemon as possible and it actually became a phenomenon in the mobile gaming industry. There's people from all ages all around the world playing it almost like a full-time job. And the Affin is the first triple A game to be able to bring this in the play to earn and the blockchain space. So this is absolutely huge guys. They're revolutionizing the way that you're able to earn on the play to earn spectrum while incorporating a technique that has shown in the past to be very effective in gaining a lot of traction and a lot of users on a monthly basis here. Now they're also gonna have real world token utility. So when you actually get these tokens, it's not just gonna be stored on the game here. You're gonna be able to earn FYN, which is their actual token there. You do not have to convert it into fiat currency to use it in the real world. They're gonna provide special privileges and benefits when they pay with FYN. So they're gonna have their own partners. You're gonna be able to buy stuff online uh, with their actual token here and you're not just gonna have to sell the token convert it into you know something like ethereum and then convert it into a fiat currency so that's really great to see guys they want you to actually hold their token maybe they're gonna have some sort of staking mechanism in the future as well which is just really gonna amplify the reasoning for people to hold on to this token and really grow the utility for the project now the overview the art and gameplay on this from what I've seen looks absolutely amazing so the Nexus world that's gonna be the mobile metaverse with the digital layer that is mapped into the real world where users can explore play and participate in activities using their geolocation right you're gonna have buddies obviously on there as well so each buddy is a non-fungible token and digital representation of the character in the nexus world they are a collectible unit with attributes and properties so these are going to be the actual nfts that you're going to be able to purchase maybe along some others as well there's a nexus land so they're going to obviously have their own metaverse here as well which is a digital representation of the real estate in the virtual world that is mapped accordingly to the real world each land is represented by a hexagon hexagon that's i mean i don't know if this was on purpose but that's a great shape to use especially what twitter is doing with twitter blue right now and allowing nft owners to be able to verify on the blockchain that they own their nft and changing their profile pick to a hexagon shape which actually identifies that like yes you do own that nft so again cool that they're able to apply that on i'm not sure if that was on purpose or not but very very cool nonetheless now structures so users are going 
going to be able to build structures on their land in the Nexus. These structures are digital representations of property in the virtual world. The Nexus structure has its own set of characteristics and can be purchased from the marketplace. So yes, you're going to be able to buy structures as well. So that's not the only NFT that you're going to be able to buy. So far, we see buddies and structures. And it seems like they're going to have their own ecosystem when it comes to everything, which is great to see. So the campaigns, there's going to be campaigns and activities in the Nexus where, for example, Nexus characters, also known as buddies, will be planted at a shopping mall, which users may hunt through the augmented reality lens. Very similar to Pokemon Go, guys. They're not reinventing the wheel. They're just taking something that works and it's worked in the past very well and bringing it to a new and exciting market, which is the play to earn market. This is very, very great, guys, right? So they're pioneering it in the way that they're bringing both of those elements together, but they're using things that have shown to work, which is why I think this is going to be extremely successful when they release here. So lastly, they're going to have the real world token utility, as we mentioned before. So they want users to have fun with their friends and family in the real world. Thus, they've created an ecosystem revolving around the lifestyle where users can utilize their FYN tokens. So we're going to see more about that, obviously closer to the launch here, but it's just cool that they have that already in store to make it more accessible and actually give value to that token, right? Instead of just having people always trying to liquidate, right? So coming in 2022, get ready to accumulate your FYN token. So buddies, right? So each buddy is a non-fungible token with its own attributes and properties. Attributes of the buddies can improve over time while property is given to certain advantages and disadvantages over other buddies. So very similar to other NFTs in the sense that, hey, some of them are going to be more rare and some of them are going to be less rare. More rare ones, I'm sure are going to be able to give you more advantages than disadvantages. And those ones are obviously going to cost more in the secondary marketplace. So buddies can be trained to participate in quests, raids, PVP, user created activities assigned to work. And they can also be collected as a family. This part really got me excited, guys, because I like I was expecting them to have quests, which is always cool. I love doing the PVE type of games as well. They're going to have raids, but also PVP. PVP is huge because this is what keeps getting people to come back to games years down the line, right? Because after a while, PVE could get boring. It depends how they're able to execute on it. But with PVP, it's always a new person. It's always someone else on the other side who's actually playing against you. And that competitiveness, that knowing it's a different person, a real live person who are, that you're fighting against or that you're playing against that's always very exciting and that's why games like call of duty and other online multiplayer games were able to succeed for such an extended period of time now these are only going to be able to be purchased with fyn tokens so again they're giving more utility to their token here which is going to add to the liquidity if you do want to liquid there's also the nexus land so each land is a non-fungible token so it's an nft which is tradable and purchasable among others owners will have full control over their land development to earn income build structures, increase the player count so you're able to lease it to them and host campaigns, events, and activities. Again, this is all going to be able to be purchased with the FYN token, which is increasing their utility. So for the token sale here, we can see that they initially dropped it at 0.02 for the FYN token. So just uh, about two cents there. And that initial 200K was raised to help kickstart the project. 10 days was locked, 1% unlocked daily afterwards. At 18 months vesting with six months close, it was the seed phase which was 0.03 and at 0.05 so about five cents there again it's the same idea there so as we come down so we can see that the launch pad price is going to be 14 cents so a whole 7x from the initial here and it's going to be 10 days locked 10 days 10 percent unlocked and one percent unlocked daily afterward so their team here they have actually a quick video for each of the team members this is something i had not seen before the amount of work that they put into doxing their own team members obviously all their linkedins are shared as well but this is an extremely expansive crew here all with intensive experience in their fields we have gaming experts marketing strategists ceos from other big companies as well so a very expansive team here that i think they're going to be able to do some of the craziest things we've seen in the play to earn space the list continues to go on and on and i'm beyond excited to see what they're able to accomplish with this amazing project guys now the investors and partners this is where things really kick up a notch they have some of the biggest people People in the space for venture capitalists to other investors that are able to bring over this project to the masses right they're able to obviously kickstart the entire project with a lot of money a lot of capital and I don't see this project doing anything but a straight moonshot but again do your own research I'm gonna leave all
all the links down in the description below so you can find out more information yourself. But personally, based on the research I was able to do, I am very, very excited for this project. So on their pitch deck here, I just want to show a few things here. So they obviously saw a problem in the play to earn market, which was players are not getting a cut, have no ownership or no control in the booming gaming industry. Most play to earn games are currently facing the issue of unsustainable game economy. And the fundamental issue of crypto adoption is that very few buy crypto for the purpose of using it and therefore continue to be speculative instruments, right? So they understand that people are getting into these play to earn games, but now they're stuck with these cryptos that don't actually have any utility and they're not really sure what to do with it. And it honestly causes a lot of FUD inside the market here. Now, what they're going to be doing here is that they're going to have a closed loop economy, right? So they're actually bringing in the FYN into the metaverse through an AR activity game, which we already saw, which is using the geolocation. And they're connecting the Nexus, which is the virtual world with the real life world here. So they're going to be able to do that multiple ways. And this is a completely untapped market for them to be able to breach. Now, from the sneak peeks I've seen of the game here, they look amazing, guys. Look at the art on the left here, guys. I'm very, very excited to play this game. They actually have a trailer that's releasing just in a few days here so by the time that you're seeing this video you might have to wait a few days but I'll make an update video on this but they're having an amazing trailer that's gonna be coming out and they're gonna show more about the video game here when that comes so there's gonna be multiple ways to earn in the Nexus you're gonna be able to visit real-life landmarks but obviously they're gonna be represented in the Nexus with a virtual landmark you're gonna have the collection of the buddies so those are the NFTs you're able to purchase the Nexus virtual land and campaigns and quests and events as we mentioned before here so the campaigns in the nexus for example they're going to announce that there's going to be 20 wildlife buddies that will be attacking the shopping mall this weekend and users are going to be able to help capture them and earn fyn tokens and then the people who capture like for example the green dino which might be an extremely rare buddy they're going to win a trip to paris there so they're not just giving back in token wise but they're also giving out like i said before real life trips and real life applications and rewards so people have a bigger incentive of playing the game and and just really increasing the utilization in this developing video game so also over here we're able to see what they meant by the real world utility so on the left here we can see for example that if there's a trip to fiji or maybe a trip to paris or whatever it may be they can give you the dollar value for it but they can also allow you to pay for an fyn so you don't have to actually convert your fyn tokens into anything you can actually just buy straight on their utility app there and you're able to get anything that you want that they have available so that's very cool it's almost like using points like if you have a credit card and they stack up points for you and you're able to use those points for different trips or entertainment or anything like that this is the same idea so it's much much better in my opinion because it's also a cryptocurrency so you're able to exchange it for a different coin if you'd like but what's really amazing with it is that you don't have to do the extra steps this is gonna make it very simple for people who are just getting into crypto or just for anyone in crypto in general because now you're not gonna have to do all these different things to be able to actually utilize the cryptocurrency that you're receiving receiving instead you're going to be able to have this token you're going to be able to have it on the game there and within the app you're going to be able to do everything with it from earning the token to actually spending the token to saving the token and maybe eventually staking the token as well they're going to be working with merchants as well and there's quite a few things on the pitch deck here i'm going to let you guys go through with it i'm going to leave again all that in the description down below so you can take a look and come to your own conclusion about everything as well once we go on their twitter here we can see they've already amassed over a hundred thousand followers guys this is absolutely ridiculous they get insane engagement on a daily basis on all of their posts here on here you're going to be able to see a lot of information about the project again they're releasing new stuff every single day and that and they're just continuously talking about it they're able to get more people on the actual project here and the public launch is only in three days so very 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 exciting stuff guys make sure to mark your calendars for january 29th here which will be the public release date that's the end of this video guys if you have any other questions i'm going to leave all the links in the description down below so you can take a look and do your own research about the project but with that being said thank you so much for watching the video and i'll see you in the next one peace out